And now, please welcome your host, Omari Hardwick. This classically trained vocalist from Shot Town enjoys writing, traveling, and making music. Give it up for Teresa the Songbird. These women bother me very much. Attempting to clutch a man's constitution with his fruit, manipulate him with his seed, these women bother me. <laughs> Call his phone hollering about where you seen him and what you seen him doing. Girl, you were six months pregnant the last time you screwed him. Now your baby's turning two, you still blue and boo-hooing and boo-boo. I wonder why it doesn't bother you. <laughs> to abuse the bond between father and child. As you grim with the smile masking the lasting scars of your father being absent. When you never wanted that to happen to your baby, but lately, if he don't show up when you like, if he ain't all up and through your life, or if he just can't see you as his wife, then no, he can't be involved or do his job. And all you want is a child support check, like the rest of your crony absentee baby daddy having homies. Once a month posted up at the currency exchange, pushing double wide strollers down them narrow ass lanes, cashing half of what you used to have when he had it to give of his own free will. Yes, mama. Yes, mama, you, you do look as dumb as you must feel. <laughs> So saddled with baggage, you dragging to chat up the gaggle of madam. So used to living alone, the misery instantly follows them wherever they roam. But let's keep it real, mama. Your baby daddy is only trying to rise to an occasion. Requesting your respect, not a standing ovation for doing the job he knows he's supposed to. And he don't need your touching, your licking, or your nookie, your big piece of chicken, or your cookies. But... <laughs> Obviously, you got him confused. Thinking that the line next to yours on the birth certificate means that he doesn't have to give a bit, but when he does, go beyond and above the call of duty, and everyone around you is well approving of the love and affection he provides his children, you turn from mama to villain, peeling them out of daddy's arms when to be an affectionate father is all he wants, that and to be treated like a man. But, Miss Lady, you a voice in his hand. So what if, what if the next time you trip or allow foul nomenclature to slip from your lips is the last time he comes to the crib? Last time he picks up them kids. Now, now it don't matter no more whose fault it is. See how the damage been did? See how the rift has begun? Separating fathers from daughters and sons, and those children are the ones who suffer. Them babies could care less if y'all are lovers, if they can't have their mother, their father, and whatever extra loving you can provide. And you know that I'm right. You know it's the truth to the real mothers in this room. If the tables was turned, you would kill for your kids. <laughs> Blood. Blood would spill for your kids, so why not feel for the kids and for the idea of him standing for his when so many are sitting on their responsibilities? Why not cast off your concerns of how he ain't feeling me and saturate yourself in showering love to these little buds open and trust? Your gems are robust. Gaze in their faces, look in their eyes, Give them the time. They make diamonds of dime pieces and petty feasts of stolen glances and fleeting romances. This chance is for you two to give the best you have to the life God has granted you to care for. So why not share more of your life with these priceless Jews? No, you may not be the wife, but he values you just as valiantly. Most high entrusted you to raise the family. So don't stress the in-between. Take the blessings you receive. Stop the vexing over rings and you'll find your form of pine and left you mine in the whole time. So let their brilliance add resilience. You got the bling, baby, watch them shine. No, no, you may not wear his rings, mama, but his diamonds should do you fine. Thank you. Give it up for Teresa, the songbird, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. For my kinfolk down south who taught me about po living. For my mama who changed so much after her aneurysm. For my father for giving this daughter a vision. I grind hard. Came from cooking ramen noodles so a sister wouldn't starve. To eating caviar. I've beaten my odds, now I whip big cars. It used to stay hot in the summer, stayed cold in the winter. Back when I used to wonder just how to hit a come up. But once I hit my come up, baby, bet I bring my family. Cause I want them to be stunners like me.